Hi Flosstube! Welcome to my channel. I'm Jessie. This is Bubba Jessie Stitches and today is Happy Floss -a Days day number three because today is December 3rd. How are y'all doing? Having a good time? Hope you're enjoying your December so far. I am wearing my poinsettia headband that I learned how to make with a class with the pumpkins for the Jingle Ball. And I think they thought that we were all going to be able to, they were going to be able to see us when they were, when we were doing our class with them. And um, for us to be able to show off all of our, our little headbands and that did not happen. So I'm showing it off now uh, with, with y'all, um, but it was a fun little class that, that they, that they did. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it looks pretty crowny to me, doesn't it? Like, doesn't it look like a, <laughs> so uh today um in, it was a game day so um has if you are new you don't know this but if you are returning um my husband and i are season ticket holders to the houston texans and today was a home game we were playing the broncos today or hosting the broncos and uh and so that so that pretty much takes up our entire day we, we leave like at 9 a.m and arrive back like at 5 p.m and then, you know so it's, it's a pretty solid commitment uh, but uh, in the in the interest of the vlog style of some of these episodes of the Flossa Days, um, at the very end, there'll be about a five, six minute video of the things related to the game, um, depending on how I edit it, if you are interested in seeing that. But I will tell you, hint, the halftime entertainment today, because today was cliques or clauses, so it was all about um, profits and supporting organizations, was a corgi race. So if you're here just for the corgi race, which I completely understand if you are, I'll have a timestamp below so that way you can skip to that part at the vlog part at the very end. But all the Texans video will be after the stitchy part today. All right, so let's get to the stitchy part. Um, yesterday, I didn't do anything but work on Jingle Ball stuff. I was trying frantically. Um, I had two classes yesterday and, um, and I showed you the finish from day two of the wintergreen Christmas ornament that I did with Misty Purcell of Luminous Fiber Arts. But I was also frantically trying to get my stitching done um, for um, the Frosted Pumpkins class on a flat fold finish with Season's Greeting. And of course, as you saw yesterday, I had finished the stitching and the class was at 7 p.m. last night. It was a couple of hours. They went over about half an hour, so two and a half hours. Um, but I also spent the rest of the evening doing the hand stitching onto it to have da, 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 a fully finished object. What? Who am I? <laughs> um, so completely different techniques and style for Misty's class. Misty's class, um, so just as a reminder, so this is Misty's, this is what I did for Misty's, which was, which was an ornament. A lot of glue in this one. This is all strictly glue. This is a no sewing project and so all of it was done with glue oh by the way that's my backing fabric on that um was done with glue this was all done with except for putting the batting on by sewing so we laced on the the actual stitching piece we glued on the fabric um and then this was all stitched on so completely different style. And this is the backing fabric that came with the kit. If you purchased the kit designed specifically and look, look how cute that like, like, you, you know, I'm going to end up, I'll add my little handmade thing and add my day to it. But look at that. It's like happy holidays from frosted pumpkins. And up here it says the jingle ball. And then it's just all of these cute little stamps and everything related to the theme of the season's greeting. So an excellent class. Um, if you have an opportunity to take a class, with the pumpkins, um, first of all, they're just hilarious and the interaction between the two of them are, are clearly best friends. Um, and, uh, but, but excellent instructions. And um, now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I've never done this. So you can see the stitching on this side, it gets pretty obvious. And then I kind of was like, hmm, I'm gonna try things a little bit different. And I think when you go onto this side, when I kind of switch my stitching, you can see that it's still there, but you don't see the traveling thread as much. And one of the things I did differently was that I ended up crossing my needle underneath the pom-pom. And that's where I think you were able to see 
the little, you're not able to see the thread as much. And of course, the more I got used to it, the closer I was able to get at the top part. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that. That's too shiny. Shiny and chrome. Um, the Furiosa prequel trailer came out yesterday. So we're thinking about shiny and chrome. Anyways, um, it's a little too shiny for you to be able to see. But but also, you can't see it in the... I got closer to the pom-pom on this side, whereas on this side, it's really obvious. So uh, I'm okay with that. The whole purpose of doing this was to learn not to be a perfectionist. This is not going to be a gift. It'll, it will end up living back here somewhere during the holiday seasons. Um, and so, but, but honestly, like it was, it was a good, it was a good thing. Um, uh, reminder though, if you're going to be using like sharp needles, you might want a thimble. Like I, like I almost hurt my fingers a couple of times. Anyways, so that's my stitching. I will probably, um, the jingle ball is still going on. Um, it's about 545 right now here um, where I am, um, until I think 2 a.m. my time. I don't expect on staying up tomorrow is a work day. Gotta go work. Um, but um, I'm hoping to be able to hop on, hang out with some friends that um, that are also attending the Jingle Ball. And then I will be starting my Christmas stitching. I promise. <laughs> so tomorrow you'll see some Christmas stitching. All right. Well, let's get opening up some, some, some advents, why don't we? This is box three for the uh, night calling stock night... Night Stalker Calling Countdown Box. <gasps> Another beautiful thread. This one's called Burr Berries. Here you go. How's that look? Can you... The problem with filming in night when it's dark is that sometimes... I think it's okay. It's pretty pretty solidly true to color. So sweet little, um, it's blue, blue, purple with flecks of red in there. So it's really, it's, it's, this is beautiful. This is actually beautiful fabric. All right. Next up is Caterpillar cross stitches box. Here's day three. Um, here is, um, the back of that box and Elna, it says a star dancing in the night. So day one, we got a needle minder. So, so day one, we got floss. And then yesterday, we got a needle minder. So day one for Cattle Cross was a needle minder. Day two was floss. <gasps> of course, something's coming. It's a piece of fabric. It is an opalescent even weave. Here you go. Look at that shine. I wonder what's coming. I wonder what's coming. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Okay. All right. Next up is my self-curated, my personal inspirator um, countdown calendar for 25 floss tubers and Instagrammers that have inspired me in some form, shape, or fashion. And I'm just sharing who they are. Do, 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 do. Shake it up, shake it up. Do, 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 do. I haven't folded these yet. Maybe I should do that tonight instead of stitch. Okay, here we go. All right, this is a single one. Okay. All right. This is awesome. I'm going to get my notes up because I do actually have notes for her. Do, 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 before I share it with you. All right, so here we go. Can you see it? Misfit Stitchers, this is Allie. Um, Allie is fantastic. I also don't think she has any idea who I am. Um, I promise there are people in this container that know who I am. <laughs> But but she is um, wonderful. I love her videos. If you actually haven't been watching her, go check her out. She lives in Canada in a very, I don't remember where, but a remote part of Canada. And, um, but because of where she is, like shipping is difficult. It's like really cold a lot of the time. Like, like, like she's like, oh, it's warm when it's like 20 degrees, like in the wintertime. Like apparently like it's pretty it's it's north and um but because of that like she can't quite get things i don't think there's a local needle shop um uh there's like getting dmc is actually not as easy and there's like another i um i think something else that's a little easier for her to get so anyways it's so there's a lot of different because of that now she stitches pretty a lot of smalls recently um but wide variety like her stitching style is very varied and i really enjoy it um, she had, you know, but, 
what makes her an inspirator and why you should go and take a look at her is that if you are interested in color conversions, um, she rarely, because of the supply issue, is that a word? I don't know. I don't know if it's really an issue, but because she's not always to get able to get supplies shipped to her and able, um, or buy them locally, um, she stitches a lot from stash. And so she does a lot of great color conversions of things that you don't think about needing. It's like, you know, well, here it is. So this is kind of stuff that I pulled. Some of it is pretty close to the coloring. Some of it isn't. Some of it is just straight out conversions. And so I think that if you are a person who wants to see how color conversions work and how people can do that and inspire you to do that, go check out Allie at Misfit Stitches. Um, she also does really great little, like, she kind of has a deadpan delivery um, is her style of, of, of conversation. Um, and so, um, but she does these really funny little transition cards that I really like. And she also shares a lot about music that she's listening to. Not always my style, but I always do enjoy her recommendations and I go check them out. So anyways, Allie, go take a look. All right. Okay, then, oh, this is going to be end up being like about a 20-minute video tonight. I guess it's okay for a Sunday. Dad jokes? I don't know if they're dad jokes. They're jokes for kids, which I guess ends up being dad jokes. This is from Go Go Print. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually a little music thing in here that plays... Um, jingle bells when in theory when you open it it sounds like a high-pitched squeak right now because i think the batteries are done anyways all right ready <laughs> what's red and white and falls down chimneys santa klutz clearly <laughs> all right Okay, for those of you who are interested, please hang out for a minute. There's going to be about five minutes of my day at the game today um, for the vlog style of vlogmas, vlog a days. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Happy floss -a days and wherever you are, I hope you're having a stitchy good time. Take care.